here at Piro Dairy Farms, we are a state-of-the-art modern-day dairy milking facility. We milk 180 cows, with 60 of them going through our newest state-of-the-art robotic milking system. Our farm was purchased in 1950 by my grandparents, Robert and Mildred Piro. They started with just basically the house and the bank barn and milked 35 cows. And they started with a hard work ethic which followed into my parents taking over and running it for many years and that's where I grew up and learned how to take care of the animals and take care of the land so it takes care of you and today it's me and my wife and our six kids and they're learning how to take care of the land and the animals and be good stewards to everything. All farmers love what they do and they're passionate about their animals um, but one exciting thing that we have is we have a, a Lely robotic milker so our cows, 60 of our cows, come through the robot and we feel that it's um, the best way to milk cows because the, the cows can come in when they want to, they're, they're less stressed, we're not moving them up to the parlor. All of our cows in the, in the robot barn wear a neck band and it has a transponder on there and, and the transponder records their chewing um, to tell us what their rumination is doing along with their activity, it has a pedometer inside. So then we can look on the computer and gives us a health report that if we have a cow that might be leaning towards becoming sick, it gives us a, a probability that she will, will get sick or not. And then we can monitor her more closely and um, take into consideration what's going on with her health. When she comes to the robot, she is weighed. So we can also take that into consideration if her weight is dropping or she's not eating as much. Here on the farm, we have about 400 head from young stock to milking herd. Our milk, once it's shipped out every other day, picked up by a semi, semi trailer and goes to Smith Dairy in Orville, where it is processed into different products. We farm about 500 acres where we raise alfalfa, grass hay, Sudan, rye grass, corn for silage and for grain, and we uh, double crop some with the rye and the corn. Uh, Randy is a township trustee, newly elected, and he's also involved with our producers board, so the Tri-County Milk Producers Board, and also the Smith Dairy Producers Board, and we have been giving lots of farm tours. Um, I have classrooms of kids that come out every spring and every fall, um, which I love to do to show off our farm and show off what we do. It allows the kids to see where their food comes from and how a, how a business runs. Some challenges we face here in dairy farming is, is drought and economic times. We had a hard drought in 2012 and had trouble with feed and had to find feed and stuff. But uh, low economic prices have been an issue the past several years. And one issue with a dairy farm is you cannot lay off a cow so you can't just cut cut them back and say well we'll start you up to next year whenever prices recover you have to keep going and you have to find a way to be more efficient do more with less sometimes but with bad times good times come around too dairy farming is a lot of hours a lot of work and we really want the next generation we want our kids or some of our kids to be able to take over the farm the robot allows us to be more flexible with our time we aren't tied to the milking parlor time. We can have a better focus on, on the cows and their health and our, our feed and what we're giving them. So it allows our kids to see, hey, we're not working all the time to do this job, so it is something that they'll want to do in the future.